What's up homies, Crystal5 here, and this is the second video of a three-part series on mastering of the Musty. If you don't know what the Musty Flick is, then you've come to the right place. The Musty Flick is an extremely difficult mechanic where you use the backflip dodge to dodge forward and scoop the ball, which can give it ridiculous power. There are three basic types of Musties. The OG, the backflip, and the breezy. Each type has different strengths and weaknesses depending on the setup. In this video, I'll only be going over the backflip musty flick. There are four basic setups, floor, wall, ceiling, and flip reset. I'm going to assume you know how to dribble, wall aerial, do ceiling shots, and flip resets. This video will not be going over any part that doesn't specifically apply to the musty. If you want me to go over any of the basic mechanics, let me know down in the comments. Each type of musty can be used on each setup, so you'll have a lot of options if you learn all of these. I made a custom training pack to go along with the tutorial. The code for it will be down in the description. If you watched the previous video on the OG musty flick, then you could skip to the next section because the basics are the same for both. I'll give you a quick rundown of the dodge mechanics and more specifically, how they will be used and what problems they can cause. When you do a single jump, then hold the direction on the left stick, then jump again, you will do a dodge. Easy. When stationary, the dodge will give you a burst of speed in the direction that you're holding. When moving straight forward, the front flip dodge will boost you forward, the back flip dodge will slow you down, and the side flip dodges will boost you towards their respective side. Now let's say you rotate your car 180 degrees in this scenario. Now all dodges will be reversed. Back flip dodge will boost you forward, left dodge will boost you to the right, etc. The musty uses this principle of using a backflip dodge to burst forward. If you're moving in a straight line and you tilt your car past 90 degrees in either direction, then backflip dodge, you'll boost forward. This could be more broadly explained like this. Your car will backflip dodge in the direction that the back of your car is closest to. It's easier to understand if you look down from the ceiling. This dot is the center of mass of the car, and this dot is the center of the back of your car. The two dots form a straight line. If you do a backflip dodge, the dodge will go in the direction of this line. So if your car's nose is facing down and slightly off vertically, your car will get a boost of speed to the side. Whether your car is air rolled upside down or sideways doesn't affect the backflip dodge. The musty flick is characterized by getting an insane amount of power with the backflip dodge. This is all possible by being able to hit the ball at least twice. When you do the flick, you need to hit the ball once with the back half of the top of your car and another with the front half of the top of your car. If you're more underneath the ball when you do the flick, the ball will go higher. And if you're more towards the center of the ball when you do the flick, the ball will go lower. This doesn't mean you can't get power with one hit. It's just if you want the most power, you want at least two. With all of the musties, it's very important that you backflip dodge through the center of the ball. If you're off to one side just a little bit, you will struggle to get the proper musty. The distance away from the ball will actually change depending on where you start your backflip. If your nose is more towards the ceiling, you'll need to be further away. If your nose is closer to the ground, you'll need to be closer. Keep this in mind when you're trying to understand distancing. Because of this, I can't give you any universal rules, but there is a range you'll wanna be in. Some people think the delay musty is only for show, but that's wrong. You temporarily cancel your backflip by holding forward on the left stick after a backflip dodging to have it happen later. This is beneficial because the dodge gives you a boost forward if you need to get closer to the ball or wait for the ball to drop. It also messes with the defenders. This dodge cancel should also be used after doing the musty flick so you can recoup the way you want. This is most useful on the wall, ceiling, and flip reset musties. Here's an example of dodge canceling and here's one without dodge canceling. See the difference in recovery? Now that you understand the basics, we can get into the OG musty specifics. The basic motion is full jump, push down on the left stick, or air pitch up until your car is past 90 degrees. If you need to adjust up or back, boost in this range, then backflip dodge. The setup is easiest when your car and the ball are moving in a straight line. You can have the ball closer to the middle of your car for this one than the OG. When you go to lift your car's nose, your car will push the ball up and slightly away from your car. 
You want to avoid lifting the ball too much with your nose because then it'll make it impossible to musty. If the ball is farther away, then you could dodge early to get closer. And if the ball is closer, you could boost backwards to dodge later in the flip. This is the easiest of the three due to how much adjustment you can do. You want the ball and the car speed to be matched. There is more leeway on this one than the OG, but if it's too drastic, you won't be able to do the musty. Going supersonic will also make this very difficult. If you find your car not lined up straight with the ball, you want to air roll to get your car to face the center of the ball. If the ball is to the left of your car, you want to hold the air roll button and press down on the left stick but slightly off center to the right until your car's nose is facing up. Then you want to do a complete backflip musty as normal. The more the ball is to the left of your car, the more off center you want to put the left stick. You can also use this motion to change the ball's direction. When doing the angle, it's important that your car's speed is matched with the ball. You can't adjust backwards like you can with the straight. The backflip goes on an angle so you can adjust to the side of the ball and slightly backwards. With all of these, it's important to have a very controlled dribble. If you find yourself bouncing the ball all over the place, practice getting your dribbles really solid. If you've ever increased your steering sensitivity, lower it and it should help make your movements less janky. The first three shots of the training pack are set up to practice these dribbles. The first one is for the straight and the second two are for the angled versions, both left and right. The backflip musty flick is actually a little harder off the wall. You really don't have many options to adjust side to side. So if the ball is too close to the wall, you can count this musty out. Also, if it's too far away, because you need time to do the backflip, you can't boost forward enough to get there. And if the ball is below your car, it's impossible to do the backflip musty. So the ideal setup is one where you can line up straight with the ball. You really won't have that much time to adjust, so you'll need the setup to be pretty much perfect. Ideally, you want the ball to be rolling up the wall and chip it off. You want the ball to be even or above your car. I find it easier to jump shortly after you hit the ball in the direction that the ball is moving to match its trajectory. This makes spacing easier. After jumping, air roll to get your wheels to face the floor and the nose of your car to face the ball. Then tilt your car straight back. If you need to adjust up or backwards, boost in this range. Then backflip dodge when you're set up to do the musty. You want to get this motion really fast to give you enough time to adjust if you need to. This one's pretty straightforward, you're just going to need a practice. The fourth and sixth shot of the training pack are stationary balls off the wall, but on opposite walls. This is just to help you get the motion down, so don't worry too much about getting the musty flick on this one. The fifth and seventh shot are the ball rolling up the wall which you will chip off to get the setup for the backflip musty. The ceiling shots are nice because you get a lot more time than the others due to the infinite dodge timer. Ideally you want the ball to be rolling up the wall and you want to chip it off. You want to get this ball as high as you can to the ceiling without touching to give you as much time as possible. Jumping to the ceiling will give you more time as well. The limitations are if the ball is too low or if the ball is too close to the wall. Because of the infinite dodge, you can adjust forward as well as up and back. When you fall off the ceiling you want to air roll your car to get the wheels towards the floor. It's important that your car is level at this point. At this point, you could boost forward, up, or backwards to set yourself up for the musty. You really want your car squared up with the ball. If you're a little off, you're going to have a tough time lining up the shot in the right direction. The height is also really important here. Because you can't boost downward with the backflip musty, you will have to make sure you do the whole setup very fast to get underneath the ball early. If the ball is close to your car, I find giving the ball a little touch helps get a proper flick. If the ball is far away, this will not help. You could change the angle of the shot if the ball is not lined up with the net. I first air roll my car to be square with where I want the ball to go. Then I tap the ball in the direction of where I can musty flick the ball in that direction. So if my car is moving in this direction and I want the ball to go towards the right, I need to get the ball here for me to musty flick it. If you can't tap the ball, changing the ball's direction will be much harder. It's okay to tap the ball close to your car because you can always boost away when you do the backflip. After a successful tap of the ball, I just do a normal backflip musty. As with all of the musties, it's important that you do the backflip dodge through the center of the ball. The next two shots of the training pack are rolling setups for the ceiling shots. If you're not comfortable with flip resets already, this one will probably give you some trouble. 
The backflip musty flip reset is the easiest of the three in my opinion. The setup motion is pretty much identical to the OG musty version, so they are very interchangeable. And once you get the motion down to muscle memory, it's very manageable. Ideally you want the ball to be rolling up the wall and you want to chip it off. You want to try and get the ball as close to the ceiling as you can to give you more time in the air. You want to get the flip reset lined up in the direction you want the musty to go. If you're off center a little bit, you'll have a harder time adjusting. You want to aim to get your car on the ball at around a 30 to 60 degree angle. This pushes the ball a little bit away from your car. If you're too underneath the ball, you'll have a tough time getting far enough away from the ball to do the musty. And if you're too high on the ball, you won't be able to get the backflip musty flick. After the flip reset, you immediately want to do a half tornado spin or whatever the quickest way is to get your wheels square with the floor and your nose towards the ball. You want to get the flip reset tornado spin motion down to muscle memory. This has to be done as fast as possible to give you as much time as possible to adjust. At this point, you can adjust forward, up, and backwards. This gives you a lot of room for correction. The most important part is that your car is squared up with the ball. If you need more time to adjust, you could tap the ball. This tap will keep the ball in the air for longer and you could use it to help aim your musty in a different direction, just like the ceiling backflip musty. This shot is so much easier if you don't have to adjust side to side during the whole shot. Try to keep everything linear if you're having trouble getting your musty set up. The last two shots of the training pack will be used to practice this shot. First focus on getting the setup then go for the backflip musty after you've gotten that down. Now that's everything you need to know to become a master of the backflip musty flick. To gain full control over the musty flick, you'll have to watch the last installment that goes over the OG musty flick and the next one that goes over the breezy flick. If you like this content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. I'm out. Peace.